From the air, late fall in America's Dakotas look like a barren wasteland. The season's crops have been harvested and area lakes touched by the first winter's freeze. When you think of South Dakota, several images come to mind. Mount Rushmore, roaming bison, rolling hills, and Badlands National Park. But for a sportsman, these harsh environments reveal a beauty of exciting bird hunting coupled with first-class accommodations at a true gem of an outdoor getaway. Bad River Bucks and Birds. We're here just outside of Draper, South Dakota at Bad River Bucks and Birds, the best place to do some wild pheasant hunting in the hills of South Dakota. Birds like that, so let's go. All right, I'll <laughs> that black dog. Is We got a rooster that popped out here into the opening. He just ducked back in the corn and we're closing down on him. As soon as we get the dogs and the other hunters on him, we should get a flush. Got a leg down. Well, I have seen more roosters on this hunt than any year that I've been up here. No snow, a little bit of wind, no below zero temperatures. It has really been a pleasure to be up here. Weather was great and a lot of roosters to shoot. The biggest thing we see people doing is they're just not prepared. Five degrees to 50 degrees. Be prepared for that. Layers of clothes are good. We're gonna have layers on, we're cold in the morning. We get to just before lunch and you're peeling stuff off. And When you come here and you hear a three bird limb and you think that's gonna be easy. And for people that have done it before, it is easy. But if you're a novice, it's not. Right there, rooster. It 100% met my expectations and then some. The only pheasants we had prior shot to this, or at least myself, were flying at me. Right there, right there, Mark. Yeah, both people who have been shooting birds for a long time or people who have never shot pheasants, uh, the first time they come up here, they, I have seen people humble. Pheasants are a different bird to shoot. Uh, they have a different flight pattern. They're, they look much bigger than what they are because of the long tail. Uh, they tend to fly straight and fast and not erratic. You need to have it become a routine. You can go <laughs> shoot 10 times in one day, play birds. Your brain is thinking about that all night long. It's thinking, what did I do? How can I make it better? There's absolutely no way to prepare for it. You can't see them. You have no idea when the dog's going to jump them. Even when they're acting birdie, you don't know where they are. A lot of times they're in corn stalks or you don't see them. And even the birds you see on the ground, you don't know which direction they're going to go when they fly. So it's, it's a snap reflex. And they say, you know, it's just something you figure out. This year we had kind of a tight close quarters type of hunt. I really enjoy that more because it's much more like shooting quail and, and getting closer shots than, than relying on other people to push them and, and drive them big distances. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Get out there. Out. We're going to keep walking right straight forward until we get to that. It took me a long time to shoot my first bird. There it is. It took me a long time to work out the bad habits that I built that I think anybody that's new to bird hunting 
create naturally. Now I see why it's different. It's a much different shot, they're fast. And I think because the area is so expansive, you're taking further shots than you're used to. I'd say an average shot is 50 yards and they want to get away from you as fast as possible. The guides knew I, were, I was frustrated. They knew that I was mentally defeated and that I, that was what was making me really, really mess up was my own self-defeat. <laughs> The hardest part about it is the excitement of it because you get so excited and a lot of times they startle you that you forget everything you're supposed to do. So they took me out prairie dog hunting, which is something else that they offer here. And to me, that's incredibly fun. Oh, missed him. No. It's varmint hunting can't take it too seriously. Go see one. Dead. Pretty fun. It's a great way to take your mind off stuff. There are folks that come here exclusively for prairie dogs. They're funny little animals. They squeak at you. They're like rabbits, but faster and funnier looking.